Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. And as I'm sure you've already heard, uh, Sony just recently released the specs for the new A9 camera. And um, also avail available for pre-order. You can find a link down below um, if you want that link to pre-order the camera. Awesome looking camera, some awesome specs, up to 20 frames per second. That is wicked fast for sports, for wildlife, for what I do, photojournalism, aircraft photography, 20 frames per second. That is nuts. Um, some of the other specs are awesome too. It has, like every camera does now, uh, 4K recording, 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second. I don't think it's gonna have 60 frames per second 4K. I think that's only gonna be 1080p for a video, but still, that 20 frames per second, we're getting to the point where video is merging with photo to pretty close to where you can almost shoot 24 frames a second of raw photos. That's that's awesome. That's not including sound, which you, you can record externally. That's awesome. 20 frames per second. The autofocus is supposed to be wickedly fast. Obviously, I don't have the A9 in my hands. If Sony wants to send me one, that would be awesome. But I just want to hear some of what you guys think. Everybody says this is going to be the Canon 1DX killer. This is going to be the Nikon D5 killer. All have similar specs. Costs a lot more money. The Sony A9 is going to run about $4,500 for pre-order right now. Um, that's body only. You're going to have to get another lens with that. Um, as you know, Sony doesn't have a giant selection of lenses. So, is Sony going to come out with more lenses? I don't know. Like I said, I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Awesome camera. It's a little bit out of my price range. Um, you're going to see pretty shortly. I'm going to release an unboxing video of the camera that I decided to get if you didn't check out my GH5 versus Sony A7S II. Um, give it a look. And pretty soon, a couple weeks, uh, my camera should be here. Just wait for it to ship. But Sony A9. Interesting camera. I think it's just a little bit above the um, A7R2 and A7S2 when it comes to photo, video, I don't really know yet. I haven't seen any video come out of it. I really haven't seen any photo come out of it. I'd love to see um, hands-on what this camera can do. The specs are awesome. It's supposed to be fast. I think that um, Sony is just kind of um, trying to throw another nail in uh, Nikon's coffin. Nikon hasn't been doing that great. Canon, Canon, you've let me down. Um, pretty sad. They're not coming out with uh, anything that's helping me out. That's why, like I said before, I made the switch to mirrorless. I'm making the switch to mirrorless. Getting rid of most of my uh, DSLR gear, minus my uh, Nikon lenses, obviously. Um, but yeah, I want to hear your guys' opinion. I'll have more on it to come. More videos to come. Sorry this video was a little bit late. I was on vacation. Just got back. But if you like my content here, please subscribe. Like down below, and as always, get on go shoot.